u emeli ka mau phlang u ba mathiu kurba manta ka singi ulon ra ha ka jingtip ka yeng dor bar ling ba ka kenta ka li jingkeli bana ka daw ka jingkiu dor ki marba mardi ka la pen longi ki babuan ki khna ban pep school no shi teng por bat ban pen kharoi ru i ka jing sdiu ha ka jilla u ba kurba u kwa ban tip ka no sien ka tanat food and civil supplies ka la let khen ra ya ka jingde tu ya u kha bat ki wei ki marba na ka liang u mentri u ba coming one omban u la ya thu bala ju pen long ya ka jing khen ra ya ki dukan ha yo du la jum khra renja bat ki wei ki wei di ki jaka ha ka ni ka jing bu jing ke li la mi ru ka jing wat jing shai na u saleng halor u kha plastic nang ta ka jing ki dor ki mar ba mar di pat u saleng u bade u mla ka congress u la ong ba ka jing ki dor ka la kham jor hadian bala dep ka election mla men ta usnem u ba aden ba sayo mon u la ke li ha tu ka jing ki dor ka dei na mar na bar badan ki pada wapisa ni ka extortion u mentri u liat hu ba ka judan ka jing let khan ra da ka ba pendan kam ru da ki mobile app Hakani ka jingwa jing shai u saleng u lakeliru ka ei ba ka sorkar ka le halor u khau plastik ba u lawan ra nuksa haka sien chong dor bar bala dep bat ong ru shanu ka sorkar ka bu ya u nu khau ba ka klem tes yo u Sir reply the question number 176 So step have been taken by the government to keep in check the seriousness of food inflation the department has instructed the the district <coughs> subdivisional from time to time to carry the weight and inspection regularly to prevent hoarding and black marketing and to increase the prosecution and conviction rate and provide outcome of such rage also action is taken on report relating to offences on the essential commodities act 1955 and the prevention of black marketing and maintenance of supplies of essential commodities acts 1980 b star instruction have been sent to all the deputy commissioners and subdivisional officers to constitute the district and subdivision vigilance monitoring committee to cope the tendencies of hoarding and black marketing to ensure that there is no hoarding and black marketing of commodities for the monitoring of price of essential commodities through price monitoring center is done an action is taken there open bang matthew kuba your supplementary question please thank you sir for the reply the minister in charge of food and supplies <coughs> for the elaborate answer to my question just because sir as per the report of the ministry of statistics the food inflation in india is are in 11.51% as on July 2023 and the uh, staple food inflation is on 15.27% which is the highest since 2016 and every indian spends around 45 to 50% of their income on food with increase of 15 to 20% of food price it has impact every family of the state especially the poor family and we in the state of meghalaya depend mostly on food from the state so with this increase of food price it has impact almost every household that they don't have enough money to save to take care of their health and <coughs> education this sir uh, has led to them the poor family to neglect their health and also lead to school dropout and also it increase crime on unlawful activities with this sir i would like to ask the minister in charge can you inform the house how many raids has been carried out in the last year 2022 23 until date and what was the outcome of the raid Sir, as per the action taken report under the Essential Commodities Act 1955, prevention of black marketing and maintenance of supplies of Essential Commodities Act 1980, our department already conducted <coughs> open in open market rate rate is almost three four three numbers. 
Mr. Speaker, sir, may I know if the government is having any policy to interfere in the market when the price of the food food goes up? Sir, regarding this uh, interfere, our department trying to check and balance regarding this. Every market, like in uh, Yodo, like Mukra and Ranja, they already capture from all these three markets daily basis by using this mobile apps with GPS coordinate. Thank you, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, the BPL families were selected based on the socio economic census of 2011. But as of now, there are more BPL families in the state. May I ask Minister Richard, please, is there a mechanism in place to include those families who have not been included till date, since 2011? Sir, so as per as the socio-economic and caste census 2011, uh, as of now, there is no new census. The allotment also the same. We cannot include the support family if the census is not in place. <clears throat> I think the census is due to be on the 2020. Because of this COVID, the government of India stopped all this census. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. You One last question, question, sir. Last question. So, with the uh, introduction of railway line to many Pathar, May I know whether the price of food commodities has reduced in many other areas or in the whole of Garwells? Sir, regarding this railway, I don't have the details with me right now. I require notice. Thank you, sir. Yes. Sincharkupa, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Sir, so since we are talking, and thank you, Honorable Minister in charge of Food and Civil Supply. Sir, so since we are talking about the Food and Civil Supply, the Food Corporation of India, the packet of rice comes from a very long distance, by train and then by road to our go down in our state. My question to you, Mr. Speaker, sir, to the Minister in charge, does the FCI department in our state have a quality and quantity check cell for all the goods and rice packets coming to our FCI go down in our state? That also, I don't have the details with me. I'll go on this. Mr. Speaker, sir, thank you once again. Sir, plastic rice sets off a panic among the people of our state and also in my constituency. The question arises every day, from time to time. So my question through you, Mr. Speaker, sir, to the Minister in charge of Food and Civil Supply. Can the government make an assurance that our rice is safe and free from plastic presence? That also is a new question, sir, but uh, I have to. This is, I think, all people in the state, they don't know about this fortified rice. Sometimes when the people, they get this fortified rice, they used to ask, this is a plastic rice. But if this allocation, if the people get some kind of that plastic rice, Rice, kindly ask these people to complain to our department. We have the district, uh, deputy commissioner, all the district, they can complain that, then we'll take action accordingly. Thank you, sir. Pastor Ringsamma, please. Regarding this particular pl plastic rice, I think I have already raised last uh, budget also. I, I have already told to take a cognizance of it because since I have bought that one particular in the floor of the house, it should have been at least cogni you know, like cognizance should have been taken and some FIR should have been made. But till that, it seems like uh, you know, there is no response. 
So there should have been some kind of uh, action taken against it, already bought in the floor, on the floor of the house. What is the question, sir? So I'm talking about the plastic rice. <coughs> the plastic rice, which was already, I have already bought the, I have already given the sample also last time. Uh, already replied. Sir, if this sample you have with you, kindly bring to our knowledge. Our department will examine that. We'll have to send and check in the laboratory, then we'll know this is a real plastic rice or original rice. I have bought that one, sir. I have placed it also and I've given it also last time. Where it was kept, I don't know. <laughs> I have kept it. You can you can recall the last session. Uh, yeah, I Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, I guess the question was uh, on a specific issue about price rise. We have gone to plastic rise. Uh, nonetheless, the concern is important, and uh, uh, I will personally look into the matter, and we will get back to the honourable members. Sir, Arden, please. Sorry. You want one more question? Oh, yes, sir. So, since uh, the business reality begins with a clear view and of the external environment, the structural changes sweeping across all over India, how eventually touching, you know, the practicality, the business rights community of all the vegetables, not only in uh, Meghalaya, but everywhere. Sir, but the fact is that, like, sometimes we tend to take it in a linear fashion, uh, you know, like a piecemeal, failing <coughs> to see the emerging pattern. So, <coughs> last uh, few months back, in the month of January, the price of uh, one packet of rice was only 1,000. But the, after the election, at present, right to it has reached to 2,000. Not only rice, all the other commodities. So I would like to request through you, Mr. Speaker, sir, since we are everyone, every government servant is getting the same salary, even though the commodity of all the rice has risen, not only the rice, the, all the, all the you know, the commodities, vegetables, everything. So I would like to request, why don't the government you know, examine to start giving the seventh pay commission also? Because we are stuck with the eighth pay commission. So that can profoundly, you know, address all the issues of price rates. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What commission? Seventh pay commission. Beyond the purview of the principal question. That is, that is beyond our purview, sir. No, I was like requesting the chief minister, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Currently following the fifth pay commission, the process will continue as per that process. Barden, Miller Basham. Sir, I must be asked to reply of the honorable minister, uh, but sir, it seems that it does not translate on the ground, sir. So price rise, is a very serious issue. It has affected badly, especially for the common man. So now we have received information, sir, that almost every week there is an increase in the price of rice. So there is a saying, you know, among the people that the main reason for the cause of price rise is because of many extortion that is taking place in the state. So these businessmen, in order to recover, they have to increase the price. So maybe, I, I want to know whether the government has been informed, is aware, that one of the reasons for the cause of increase in price rise in essential commodities is because of extortion that is taking place in different forms. Because it's increasing every week, sir, for months, for four or five months now, it has crossed 500. Say so five months back, the rise of the price is 100 per packet. Now it has got 60. So this is a very serious issue, sir. I want to know whether the government is aware of that fact, whether that is true or not. The reason that led to the price rise in okay. essential commodities. So let it's, uh, it, <coughs> the price rise is not in our state only. I think all over India, because this is the external factor, like insufficient food production, 
Timing of monsoon season, increased fuel price, labor costs, growing population, supply and demand, demand imbalance, and climate change with increased extreme weather events, including drought, storm, or insufficient rain, all these factors contribute to price rise or inflation. So, sir, so in that case, may I know from the minister in charge whether the increasing in the rate of rise every week is as per the notification of the government? Sir, we have the district monitoring vigilance committee regarding this to control this, to check all this uh, price rise in all the district. That's why I, that's why I already replied, we capture all three mar local market daily by using mobile app, mobile app with the GPS coordination. All districts, they do all this prevention for these essential communities. So because sir, the please. increase in price is not happening quietly or in the sense of a black market. If you go to the market in Yodo, they will sell, say, 1,000 this week per packet. And next week, they will sell 1,200. So is that considered as a price being notified by the government or a black market in that case? Sir, we have this uh, Prevention of Black Marketing Supply Essential Committees Act 1980 and Essential Communities Act 1955 are both implemented and action taken report to the office under both act as updated and reviewed time to time on the portal of the Ministry of www.fwcinfoweb.nic.in ECR by the 10th of every month. You can go through this website, you can see all this price all over India. In the month of March and April 2020, there was a heat wave to affect the showing period and with the late arrival of monsoon, production was affected with cost increase of the price. You already asked for this. Last, I have no answer. Just Last recently, question. Mr. Speaker, sir, to you, I would like to ask the Honorable Minister, just recently they have uh, launched this dashboard, uh, you know, uh, price rising to curb the price rise. So what are the commodities, uh, that essential 22 commodities that you have, uh, you know, uh, circulated to, to all the uh, districts uh, <coughs> all over Meghala? What are those commodities actually? The 22 essential commodities which are captured on the late basis is mentioned in the table below, sir. Rice, suji, atta, kram dal, tur dal, urak dal, mung dal, musur dal. Yes, sir, I can, I can place that on the floor. Of the yes, floor. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is 22 numbers of essential commodities which yes. fall under uh, why I want is that like every one, everyone in the citizens of Megal, I mean uh, the Megalan citizen will definitely uh, know about it and then at least they will be aware about it and then at least they can, you know, uh, check the loopholes whether th th there is any black marketing or not. So by them, sir. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Thank you, sir. Minister. Point noted, sir. Okay, now we move on to next question.